My name is Stacy Emmerschlag, and this is video two on using the coordinates toolbar. And we're going to start out with a new project. Uh, in video number one, you were able to see the. Uh, let me just turn this one off for a second. Um, we had one of our scenes where we are animating from one head to the other. And now I'm going to turn this off for a second. Which is, and we're going to move to our second project. And that is starting from scratch. Now, when you're working with multiple groups, and right now we can see that we have our three head groups, and I have my two of my groups turned off. To turn on uh, different groups, you can press A, and that will turn everything on. And you'll notice my character has multiple heads. If I wanted to permanently turn off something in the scene, I could press D and that will disable it. A is enable and D is disable. But I'm going to turn them all on because what we're going to learn today is how we can use these heads to simply do a head turn um, and, and animate something. So, how does our coordinate toolbar work? Well, it basically has the option to scale an X and scale and Y. So you're basically turning something into uh, a dot, if you will. So I'm going to start out by putting a keyframe on frame one, because I, I, I'm going to start with my head group as a profile, and I'm going to go inside my other two groups. So let's just go inside the, on frame two, I'll put a, uh, I'll expose my art. So I'll just press F5, Whoop. F5 right here just so I have enough um, frames to do this animation. I'm going to go to frame 2 and put a keyframe in. And now I'm going to turn my profile head. I'm going to, I'm going to leave on frame 1 my, my all my heads. Not all my heads. I'm going to turn off the ones I don't need. And I want to just go inside the group. And you press this little button to go inside the group. Select the master peg. And I'm going to turn on my coordinates toolbar both of these to zero. I'm going to go back in and I'm going to find my quarter front head and do the same. I'm going to find its master peg and I'm going to turn those to zero. And now on frame one we have just a profile head. I'm going to do that the same thing for, for three keyframes. On frame number two I'll get rid of the front head. I'll turn this one off. And I'll get rid of the profile head and turn this off. I'm going to always make sure you go to the top peg of the chain. Turn that off. And then I'm going to go to frame three. I'll put another keyframe in. And I'm going to turn this one off. And I'm going to find the front head, which would be this one right here. And I'll turn that one on. And it's, it's the only two things you can do are 0 or 1. And there we go. We have frame 1, frame 2, frame 3. And that's the end of this video. 